small engine resurrection here there's the mower with the hood on i was telling you guys about but don't have the front headlight assembly there's the wood and stuff you guys consider that a a bonfire or a mini bonfire i'm gonna put about half a gallon of gas on it let it burn so it's wet that was the little sheet metal i was talking about i laid down just to i don't know why i did because it's it's away from everything there ain't no grass around here anyway i would like to make me a monster pit out here give me some creek rock or whatever just make me an outline make me a big big pit i love making fires and sitting around them it's relaxing to me but this did bend it bent my plate right here you guys can see up underneath there look how it's sitting See that? Bit my plate down, so I'm gonna take it off, bend it back up, and weld me about a quarter inch, a half inch plate under there until she's sitting low to the ground. But it pulled it no problem. That mower's a beast. If I had my keys on me, it'd fire right up right now things never not fired up oh, I do got my keys on me my dad's on the way up here to help me get my starter fixed I always just take the hood off when I'm using it or starting it or whatever Larger capacity oil filter with pressure lubrication. Larger capacity washable air filter. Cast iron sleeve. Longer life. Premium piston package. Anti-vibration system. The only problem I've had with this, and it just happened, I got to get new uh, tie rods. The hole is bored out. It sits on that little nub right there. But put it on there and push down. It still works. I was thinking about uh, welding it, but then it wouldn't turn right. But, let's see. Hold the brake in. I put a brand new battery in here. It's in neutral. It's at six speed. Fire up. dogs were coming over and jumping up getting out of this corner as their favorite spot so I got it blocked off I can't get a run running start but yeah there's the Poland Pro I suggest if you guys can find one of these cheap or for free pick it up I mean I just can't believe how good of a mower this thing's been overall um, just the way it runs starts every time the way it cuts the way it rolls, the gears. You know how some mowers, when you ride them, like you, you, you'll be riding it and going along, but it like, you can feel it's limited, like it'll go and kind of like jerk and go. This just rolls freely. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's pretty fast too. Lost the 
bunch of oil there. You guys are gonna say, you idiot, you idiot. You ain't supposed to do that. I know, I know. But it's, it's due for an oil change again anyway. It's been about a year or so. I do want to make a custom exhaust for it. See the port right here. I'm going to leave it. I would like to cut it. Cut it maybe like right here or something. And then flip the port to where it's coming up and out this way. You know what I'm saying? Just flip it. Cut the muffler off. Or just cut it off right here. Bring it out and run it up or something. I don't know. Got oil everywhere, it's all right. Let's see. Let's see what the oil's looking like. Oh yeah, oil's looking pretty good. Clean oil. But yeah, I got sidetracked again. I just wanna show you guys that. If anybody has any Poland Pro um, front headlight assembly, that bolts to the hood and stuff, let me know. Might be able to figure something out, do some trading, or uh, if you just ain't using it and want to give it away, I'll pay for the shipping or buy it from you or whatever. I'd like to uh, find the original, you know, have it all original, but if not, I'll just hook some accessory lights to it. But let's get back to this bonfire here. Thing's pretty full. This gas, or this, this, um, stuff is wet oh it's heavy it's so full switch my hand around here <laughs> this is gas guys you'll see when I light it talking about a bomb fire talking about a boom ba boom ba boom boom what do you guys think you think that's enough you think that's enough guys Woo! That's about a half a half a gallon of, of fuel. Then what I like to do is I'll take I'll find a long stick. It's gonna go. It's gonna make that noise. Here's a long stick, pretty long one. I'll dip it down in here. Get it wet. Light it. Or I could have just broke one off from there, I guess. <laughs> Got my propane torch for my lighter. Oh, let's see here. Let's turn my tank on. It's hard to do one hand. There we go. I like this torch head because you can light it and hit the button. And it'll stay on right there. I don't know if I build it one more. You guys ready? Heck with that. That's just uh I'm gonna set you guys down right here. Make sure you can see. I'm gonna light it. Let's have some fun today. You guys want to have some fun? Let's have some fun. Let's see if you can see it from right here. Well, that was a 
bust. What the hell? That was definitely a bust for all that fuel put in there. Is it really that wet? Either that or that fuel is so old. It might have water mixed in. I wasn't expecting that. That was a bust. Let's see here. get it hot enough to dry it out for, so it burns. Woo! That was close. About came back into my tank. Don't do this at home. If that would have went back into my tank, which it almost did, it would have blew up. That would have been bad. That's why I hate doing it like that. Get back, Cashy. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Right to the camera. You don't like it? It's really, really wet. I didn't think it was that wet. It's gonna dry out. Then it's gonna rain some more, so I just wasted my time and gas. Got it all over my hand. Wow. I really thought we was going to have a nice big fire explosion at first. You know how when you put a, a bunch of gas on something and it lights and it makes that noise? <coughs> what, buddy? You don't like it? <coughs> Cashy don't like it. Say hi to the camera. <coughs> Say hi. <coughs> you don't like it? You don't like it? <coughs> Him don't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> Him's a crazy pit bull. Him beautiful. Him beautiful doggy. Him beautiful! Sometimes he'll run and hop like a bunny. Here's the other go-kart. I don't know if you guys seen. If you know what this is, please let me know. The only thing that I can find on it that is similar is this kind of setup right here. And it's on a Carter's Brothers go-kart. Is this on is this a Carter Brothers go-kart? It's got the jack shot here for the belt. I'm gonna take this off and get a torque converter uh pulley there to the engine. It comes over here. Look up. Tight that got that. You can't move it. Have you guys ever seen? Of course, this comes off and that price slides off. Is this and this the pressure holding this on the sprocket? Or what is holding that sprocket on? I've never seen that kind of setup right here before. I've seen the jack shaft set up. But I have not seen this setup right here. What is holding this sprocket on? Just the force of this pushing it over. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I got this for my stepdad's grandkids. Look at that steering wheel. Deep dish pizza. That's a nice steering wheel. Also, something else I've never seen ever. And many of you probably haven't either. Maybe you have. I don't know. Tell me what this is. Is this factory or does somebody do this? Okay. You see this one bolt right here? You know how this is usually welded onto the front, the bar? It's like some kind of suspension a little bit. Look. 
see if I can hold this up. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I need to put it on something. But look. That bar moves. This bar is not welded firm in. All it has is the roll cage and that one bolt on both sides. Usually these are welded to the frame. You guys ever seen that setup before? If you have, let me know. If you haven't, let me know. I know a lot of streakers had this design right here. I don't know if it's a streaker. I, um, maybe this summer when we tear it down, strip it, we'll find some. That's my worst pet peeve. I don't know why people cut serial numbers or tags or stickers off. Guys, leave that stuff alone for the next person so they can identify it and know what it is. Uh, of course, there's my Formula One style. Fiberglass racing body. I'm going to put that on one of them silver go-karts. Um, it's in great shape overall. It has a little front end repair. Nothing big. Sand it down. They put a piece of board under there for support which was smart oh about dropped him that wasn't smart it has Briggs and Stratton stickers I will re be repainting it that is a nice it's hard to find nice bodies like this they ain't all beat up and broke just the nose the front let's see there you can see the 2x4 and the the patchwork they did on the inside but yeah if anybody's interested in it uh, I'm not too worried about selling it really but I will if anybody's interested in it want to put it on the cart for the kid or for himself has the bolt holes for the, the, the mount it um, I would say that it's probably in the 80s or 90s I don't know what year do you guys think that is just take a guess if you don't know let's play a guessing game leave it in the comments let's communicate back and forth to each other I'd like to talk to my subscribers and get to know them and what their opinions are different stuff and you know but yeah, this here, if you guys have ever seen that front end and set up, let me know. And if you know what kind of card it is, or know how this works, let me know. Um, I paid 50 bucks for this, and 50 bucks for that blue streaker. Uh, the blue streaker is a live axle. This is a single axle. All it needs is the engine mounted on. It's ready to go. It's got the original seat and all that. I got a brand new engine for it. I just, I'm, I'm real decisive. One day, I want to start keeping all my go-karts and collecting them. The next day, I want to sell them. But um, these here, these here and what I got are go-karts to me. Um, what they make nowadays as go-karts, they're not go-karts. Them are buggies. I like the original old style go-karts that they, you know, originated from. One-seaters, two-seaters, just... Plain Jane engine with some bar chain setup. Uh, suspension's all right, but you know they're making these things nowadays, and they're not real go karts to me. And go karts are—I mean, they're out there, but eventually they're going to be getting hard to find, and everybody's going to be wanting a lot for them. And I love go-karts. That's my favorite thing. I guess because I was poor growing up. I was still kind of poor now. I didn't have no money for no quad or dirt bike or nothing. I had a, like two go-karts. One of them got stolen. Um, and I just love go-karts. I like, I really want to collect them. But, you know, I don't know. I'm sorry, this is a fail. It was a bust. I guess it's too wet. 
we will be revisiting this on a nice dry day this is what's left on the trailer I would say uh, if I stack them up like that make them like that there's only there's a lot more there than it looks I would say probably five loads of that come on cash let's go buddy what are you doing over there sometimes he'll get up on the mower and sit on there say hi say hi for the camera you say hi you say hi hi all right guys I'm sorry about that I thought we was gonna have a nice little fire but I guess not getting ready to go out here and start working on my starter which I'm dreading got to be done but here I'll show you this manco I want to say it's like an American Express I got the back seat I took it off it's sitting right there um, live axle band brake it's ready to go it's got the kill switch ram back there the throttle the pedals Got the grip tape. It's original. Paid 50 bucks, 100 bucks for both of them. Had to drive two hours away. How come all the deals are far away? Does have the springs for a little bit of suspension. It's a really nice go kart. I got a brand new 212 put on it, but I haven't put on it yet because I haven't decided if I want to keep it or sell it. Um, like I said, they're just getting hard to find, especially in that condition. Look how look how nice that is. It's a nice car. Look at the seat. There's no tears or rips in the seat. That's no uh, pressure washer. Needs a valve set and stuff. But thank you guys for hanging out with me, watching these videos, and taking your time. Um, you guys have a blessed day. Get your projects done. Uh, little by little is all we can do. Just try and make progress. Progress is progress. Progress was made today. Get out there and get it. And be safe. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or a share. Or hell, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Amen. Thank you guys.